you are at the Frankfurt Motor Show and on the Lexus stand, and although we are going to present five new cars on, uh, on the show, the more important car is just behind us, is the RX450. The RX450 is uh, the best-selling car of Lexus worldwide, not with that engine, but in all its uh, engine styles. And uh, this has been, over the last 15 years, probably the best-selling car for the Lexus brand with more than 2.2 million cars. So we're coming with the fourth generation of that car, completely new design, probably more polarizing design than what you have seen in, uh, in the past. And then uh, we have upgraded most of the, uh, of the elements of, of the car. The car comes with more comfort. Uh, for example, we have a, a climate concierge, which is adjusting not only the air temperature, but also the seat temperature in, uh, in the future with this car. We have a whole range of uh, new engine. We have a new safety uh, assistant, a new Lexus safety system which will uh, break for you in case that a pedestrian will cross the street. And uh, I would say last but not least, we have looked at every detail of the car to make it even more luxurious. In a way, with the Lexus brand, we are trying to be different because we are somewhere the alternative to the German tree. So the first thing that we use to be different is the design of the car. We know that the design of the car is polarizing. Some people like it very much, some others don't like it so much. But we're not chasing 50% market share. Therefore, we're very happy for those who like it very much. And a lot of people are willing to change their brand, uh, their current brand, to come to uh, Lexus because we have a very different proposal. In Europe, of course, we are the hybrid brand. 98% of the cars we sell in Western Europe are hybrid cars. So if there's one thing that makes Lexus different, it's hybrid. That's, the be that's Lexus's best-selling car, period. It's probably the best-selling mid-size crossover, period. You know, the next closest is, I don't even know what. The RX just blows everything away. It's kind of hard for Lexus to screw that up. 